Welcome to Point Wise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. Today we're talking about the Automatic Surface Mesh Advanced tab. This will be a two-part series, and today is part one. You can see on my screen I've got a database model. I've colored it gray to make some visualization a little bit easier. I'm going to select the model and go to Create Automatic Surface Mesh. We're talking about the Advanced tab, so that's where we're headed. You can see in the view window, I've got yellow, purple, and green lines. What do these lines represent? Well, in short, these lines are where two-dimensional T-Rex will be grown on this, if we choose to. Currently, they're all set to off, so that means no T-Rex will be grown. The yellow line is a curvature, the purple line is for convex, and the green line is for concave. I can change the angle that defines a curve as convex or concave with the hard edge angle. You see, if I change it to 95, Concave curves go away, and so do some of the convex ones. I can switch back to 45, and it will return. I'm going to leave all of the states set to off, so go ahead and show you that no surface T-Rex will be grown. Now that's done, let me zoom in. You can see, even though there's some neatly stacked triangles here, that's an effect of the algorithm, not T-Rex. Let me show you what T-Rex will look like. Let's go back to the Advanced tab. I'm going to turn all of these to on. Back to the Global tab, Create Surface Mesh. Now I can zoom in and you can see these neatly stacked triangles, clearly smaller edge lengths than what we had just a moment ago. In addition, you can also see T-Rex being grown off of these concave edges, as well as the convex ones here and here. There's one more thing to discuss this week, and that is the edge assembly angle. That is referring to just connectors and whether they will be joined and the angle that decides that. In this case, we set an angle to 40. I don't find myself playing with that angle so much, so it's probably best to just leave it as is. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all. Have a pleasant Tuesday. See you next week.